Can you make a video on Bleep? A Bronze 5 Zin Zhao main who has pretty interesting strats. Okay. Far, far away in the land of the North. AKA North America. There is a man, a man known as a legend. A man feared by many of his opponents that plays nobody but Zin Zhao. Zin Zhao with teleport and smite. They call this man Bleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we are watching Bleep. Uh, and maybe King Kong OP as well, as she is going to look to invade by herself. But that's Ignite coming out. And first blood to Ezreal picking it up. Looks like Bleep, he wants this blue buff. He's been hiding in this brush. And he's going to go for this blue buff. He's got smite available. Doesn't have flash though, so he's going to go in. He's going to smite it, but who's going to get it? Ezreal gets it. And that's just unlucky. Okay, this is the first time he's using his teleport in the 10th minute. Yeah, I think he may be going for the red buff. Okay, no stealing of the red buff today. So he said he's going to gank the vein who does not have flash. He's got ignite and barrier. Barrier already used. And there it is. Yeah, comes my man. Bleep! And this is going to be a 2v3. He goes straight for the Ezreal. But Ezreal still has heal. And this is not looking too good. Oh, and the Soraka ultimate. It's just not working. Looks like Gangplank is rushing that Infinity Edge. In goes Bleep and oh, see you later. Bleep. He's got the Rift Herald and well, Vayne's just standing still there. So he's going to jump onto the Vayne. Vayne obviously does not have Flash. Bleep's got another one. Watch out, Master Yi. Here comes Bleep. As they meet each other, the two junglers are oh, Master Yi. He's going to get knocked up. That's going to cancel the Meditate. Bleep taking down the jungler. Ezreal's next onto the list as the Death Mark comes out from Zed. He's down. The Rift Herald has been summoned, and that is the end of that tower. Now the fight is broken out. 2v2. Redemption from the red team, or was that the blue team? I have no idea. I'm not sure how it works, but Master Yi comes at the right time to clean up some kills. Is this it? Bleep with the TP flank. Here we go as Soraka just walks in, and, well, she's dead. Pushing for the inhibitor now as, well, Jenna. Jenna? Okay, Janna not paying attention, but they should get this tower. They will, and now onto the inhibitor. I'm not sure if the Soraka knows what she's doing. She's now in the enemy base. Uh, oh, I think she's realized, hey, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be here. And she gets taunted, and that's going to be another one for Bleep. Bleep now pushing with the Baron buff, and it's a large minion wave. He's looking to get this tower as he uses his ultimate. Oh, he's tanking this tower, but he does get the tower, and uh, okay. Well, he got the tower, I guess. We've got Ezreal in the bot lane with the back door. Meanwhile, the red team, Soraka and Gangplank, trying to do this Baron. I uh, don't know if they can do that. As, oh, Bleep's going to take down the Ezreal here in the bot lane. He didn't get the inhibitor. Uh, yeah, this this is not looking too good for the red team. But Gangplank's going to try his very best. Soraka's trying her very best to help this Gangplank. But it's still got, okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. That may have lost the game. So Raka and Gangplank went for the 0% win rate at Baron Call. And unfortunately, 0% means you lose. That's the ace as the blue team and Bleep pick up the victory. You can see that he likes to invade level 1 all the time as... Oh, what happened there? Hmm, so the enemy top lane Yasuo tried to take the red buff. He was pretty close, pretty close, but so far away. Now it's Bleep's turn. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Okay, he's looking for a play here in the mid lane as that's the stun onto Cal. Cal has her ultimate available, but that won't be enough. And bleep, he will survive. Yasuo gets the knock up last breath. In goes bleep. And now Yasuo has to retreat. And he will do so. Finally going to make a move. He's going to drop that ward. I think he's looking for Yasuo, but Yasuo is not there, unfortunately. Timo forced to flash away. In goes Zin Zhao. Now bleep. And okay, Yasuo is just going to walk this one out.
Oh, Yasuo walks up. Bleep goes in once again. And that was actually well played from Yasuo dashing away. He really wants to get this Yasuo. Bleep goes in and finally gets the Yasuo. There we go as Master Yi has to flash and use Ghost. Wait a minute. He doesn't have Smite. Huh. Bleep has some really good patience, I must admit, but he's had enough now as he's finally going to go in looking for the Master Yi. And he gets the kill, but this is going to be a one for one. He's going to use the teleport, and guess what? He's going straight back top lane. Here we go, Bleep versus the Yasuo. He's going to kill him again. Yes, he does. This Yasuo is going to regret Taking coin. You thought it stops. No, it doesn't. It doesn't stop here. Bleep going for Yasuo once again. And there it is once again. Yasuo still doesn't have boots, so he cannot get away from Zin Zhao. And he goes down for the sixth time. Baron is now up, but a fight has broken out. And in goes Bleep on his Zin Zhao. Takes down Kel very, very quickly. Looking for the double kill. There it is. Now the triple. No, he doesn't get it. Master Yi may be looking for some revenge. He's going to flash in, but he flashes straight onto a Teemo Shroom. A random Teemo Shroom right there. Uh, Zin Zhao doesn't have enough mana, but that shouldn't matter. As Bleep gets his 13th kill. And that's going to be the game. Bleep finishing off. That's another victory. Looking top now after getting that blue buff invade. Trindamir doesn't seem to notice as the man himself is Yaz Ash. Actually gets a kill onto the Morgana before she will die. Caitlyn actually getting that one. Now, Ch okay, someone gets executed there. Soraka in the top lane. As uh, turning his attention now to the Shivana is Zin Zhao. That's the knock up. Uh, cancels an auto, but it should be fine as he goes in. And that's another kill. Now looking for the Sona as well. Sona doesn't have any mana, but will get away. We've got an instant replay. Let's see what happens. That's the wind wall and ignite on the two Trindamir, but he will survive. So I guess Soraka goes for this one and somehow gets executed. Just gets executed to the tower. Okay, that's nice and simple. Here we go, the teleport strategy, the TP flank coming in from Zin Zhao. He wants this blue buff, he's going to check Wolves first, there's none there. And oh no, Shivana once again, she gets the blue buff, oh what? Uh, okay, well, Shivana's actually going to get away. Bleep, he's looking for this Ash, jumps onto the Ash. Uh, two levels behind though, but that's not going to matter for Bleep. And that's going to be the game once again. Bleep showing us how it's done. Okay, yeah, I think we'll just quickly move on. Once again, my man loves the invade. Takes the blue buff, also looking for the Gromp, but Pantheon's also here. Yeah, Pantheon's going to walk up. Oh, he actually gets it. Pantheon gets the last auto attack, and this is not good because Pantheon does have the red buff which usually wins these 1v1 battles between the two junglers because Zin Zhao's only got the blue buff. It's going to be fairly close. Who's going to come out on top? It is Pantheon. The blue buff is up. Zin Zhao's going to jump in. Oh, he could get collapsed on you. Zin Zhao. Ah, uh, unlucky. So this game wasn't quite going according to plan. 0-3-0, oh, oh, but he comes in for the flank, gets his first kill, the flash away from Lulu, he does get the slow as well, and the knock up, looking for some more, can they get this Lulu, he will get the double kill, he is back on the board and looking for some more, jumps in under tower, and that's the third one, can he get the fourth, no, Lux may get it though, and Lux will also die, in fact gets executed, Rom getting pretty low, that's the ultimate coming in, it's not going to block anything, they're just going to back off here as... Oh, Nock comes in for the flank, but he just flashes out. He may be able to get this tower. No, the teleport's coming in from Nock nah and uh, Bleep. He's, go he's going straight. He's going straight to the enemy base. He wants to get executed here. He's going straight for the fountain. Bleep. Can he get himself executed? And he will do so. Yes, he does. We're pushing here in the top lane. Ah, oh, but Pantheon's here flashes in the ultimate. But uh, he's going to get a bit of damage onto that tower at least. Okay, he's got 11 deaths. But he is split pushing. And he will get the tower before the teleport is completed. Now onto the inhibitor. He's got quite a lot of attack speed. And okay, Pantheon's jumping in. Can he get this inhibitor? The, the ultimate to knock away Pantheon. He flashed in. Can he get it? Ah, very, very close. A few minutes later. 
later, he just returns to take it. Onto the middle tower now, but there's no minions, so he's going to have to use his ultimate, and he's just going to back off. In fact, uh, okay, you know, he, he got some damage. He's got a huge minion wave here in the top lane. He could try and end this, but Pantheon is backed, and that's the one member he does not want to deal with. And that's why blue team onto the inhibitor, but Lux is onto the Nexus Towers. They actually get the one tower. There's a lot of minions here. This could be a base race. Who's going to come out on top? Pantheon is here to stop the Lux. Although, you know, there's so many minions. I don't know if you can even do this. Look at all those minions. This is going to be a very, very close base race. Oh, the two Nexus Towers are down onto the Nexus. And that's the ultimate. Lux is going to win this, is she? Oh, who's going to come out on top? It is going to be Lux. Lux wins the base race. Hey, you don't see Lux with the back door very often. But you do see it down in Bronze 5. It's a, it's a, it's a well-known strategy down in Bronze 5. The Lux back door. And that is the victory for Bleep. Even though he has 14 deaths, he still gets the victory.